hello it's it's andrew it's andrew and um i welcome i welcome you guys to my youtube channel welcome to this awesome tutorial where i'll be guiding you guys on a very beautiful journey it's a project that i'll be building with the main stack so uh i welcome you guys to this awesome tutorial in this tutorial we're going to be building and deploying yeah not just building I'm going to show you guys everything step by step. We're going to be building and deploying a complete and responsive. It's going to be super responsive. Uh, we're going to be building the project with Node.js, Express for the back end. And then for the front end, it's going to be awesome. This is a special YouTube video. We're going to be building the same front end three different times, right? A lot of developers out there just know React, Next.js, who, uh, what else? Svelte kit, uh, Svelte or whatever they call it. They just know this JavaScript frameworks without really knowing the, the very solid grasp. I mean, the very solid fundamentals, right? So, but in this tutorial, we're going to be building the same front end three times. So, we'll build the back end with Node.js and Express, right? I will build our APIs ourselves. And then the front end, I'll show you guys how it all ascends, how it progresses. I'll guide you guys on the progression from building the same front end with plain HTML and how it transcends to building with React and then Next.js 13. So I'm going to guide you guys on this journey. We're going to build it first with plain HTML and then with React.js. The plain HTML or vanilla JavaScript, of course. Then we go for React.js and then we go for Next.js. All three front ends will be styled with two in CSS. So this is a YouTube tutorial series. It's not going to be clumped into one big video probably i'll do that in the future but it's going to be in um bits right so uh i'm going to record the three front ends differently and then the back end as well the api will be built that the api the api that i'll be building i'm going to record it differently as well so we're basically going to have four main tutorial videos aside the intro and probably the outro all right so all the three front ends will be styled with still in css all right so here are the tools, the technologies we're going to be using. We're going to be using HTML, of course, still in CSS. Still in CSS is cool. It helps with awesome responsiveness and um, other amazing uh, other amazing advantages like uh, helping you to write code faster, giving you utility classes that makes life a, a lot easier. Still in CSS is just super cool, right? So I'm going to show you guys how to build with plain HTML. Uh, React.js and even Node.js. I'm going to show you guys how to style all those kind of projects with, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, HTML, React.js, and Next.js. I'm going to show you guys how to style all those kind of projects with the with CSS. So, of course, vanilla JavaScript, that's what we're going to be using on the HTML version. Yeah, Axios, we're going to use Axios for data fetching. React.js, of course. Next.js is basically React.js as well, but with some extra superpowers so we're not just going to be using next.js it's going to be next.js 13 the new and awesome version of next.js and then we're going to be building the back end of course with node.js google fonts for to give our fonts to give us beautiful customizable fonts express.js express.js is the back end framework we'll be using with the node.js uh, back end the the development of node.js back end and then we use mongoose mongoose is going to help us uh communicate with our Mongo database is going to help us interact with our Mongo database, which is the database we'll be using. So we'll be using Mongo database, of course. And then, uh, like I said earlier, I'll both show you guys how to build and how to deploy. All right. So when you finish building all the three different front ends, we're going to deploy them separately from your GitHub account. I'll show you guys how to deploy to Vassel from your GitHub account. We're going to deploy each of those front ends to Vassel, and then the back end, we're going to deploy the back end to Render. Render, personally, I believe Render is arguably the best platform uh, for deploying uh, APIs at the moment. Render is super easy, it's cool, gives you a very developer friendly experience when you're trying to deploy APIs or project back ends. For me, Render is the best. All right, so we're going to deploy all the front ends to Vassel, and as well, we're going to deploy the back end to render and our database is going to be mongodb there might be more tools we'll be using but for now i guess this is just good a good uh, deal of a lot of them all right so right now you want to see the demo of all building right all right guys here you go here is the project that we're going to be building together 
right? So I call it the Developer Profiles Project. It's an amazing project. I'm excited. So it's 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 a simple project. It's simple, but it teaches you the four main operations, right? The four basic operations you perform as a back end developer. I mean, you help the front end guys to do right, which is crude, crude. We call it we call it crude, crude operations. C R U D. The C stands for C R U D, right? C stands for create. You help them to add data to the database, right? Create, right? And then you help them to uh, read R C R. The R stands for read, meaning you help them to fetch data from the database with the APIs you build. And then U U stands for update. You help them to update the database with the APIs you build. And then D stands for delete. You help front-end engineers to delete stuff from the uh, database. So those are the four basic functions that a back-end engineer performs, right? There's, 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 there's a lot more to back-end engineering, but those are the four basic, right? We call them, we call it CRUD, C-R-U-D, create, read, update, delete. So this is an amazing project that teaches you those four basic operations in a very sweet and um, I mean, in-depth fashion. It's a project that you're going to learn a whole lot, whether you're a beginner or you are an intermediate or even a senior. I assure you, you're going to learn some amazing stuff from me while building this project. So this is the project. I believe you can't wait to see to see us demo it live. The project right now is hosted live. You can see it's on Vassel, the Vassel app. We have the project, the back end is hosted on Render, like I said earlier. So the project is live. I'm going to show you how to build it, how to deploy everything. So this project, we build the API, the back end, and we are going to build the front end as well, right? So we're going to build the front end, all three of the front end, it's HTML, like I said. Uh, we're going to build with HTML. We're going to build with um, React.js. We're going to build with Next.js, their theme, like I've talked earlier. So this is the project. It's awesome. It's amazing. All right. So uh, Let's go, let's go, let's check out, let's demo it, let's see what we've got. So I can add a profile, I can edit the profile, I can delete the profile, and of course we are fetching data, right? So let me try adding a profile. All right, so we have 12 profiles currently. Now uh, let me just add my profile, mine's not there yet. Yep, so let's go, my name, my email, my website, and then uh, let's just say I am the author of the developer. Profiles project on YouTube. Yeah, so let's go. Let me add the profile. You can see this beautiful prompt. Profile is going to be created. And once it's created, you can see profile created successfully. That will be redirected to the landing page. And then you can see it changes to the theme from 12, which it, which, which it initially was. So here we go. Profile is right here. So we just demonstrated the creating, right? The add on profile. So right now I can update as well. So you see data comes in for me and then I can easily update. So let me say I am um, updating and then again, let's just say I am updating. Oh, I, it's my true error, right? Yeah. Let's just leave the email like that. Uh, then I am updating. You know, HTML, we use the, the HTML file require uh, functionality so our forms have been checked so i don't want that to be an error because it's an email field it's for email so there's no make it an error so i am updating once again i am updating and then um let's go same way with the prompt and then profile update successfully going redirected to the landing page and then you're going to see our updates is show, going to show over there right isn't this amazing finally we can also delete the profile yeah beautiful prompt no thanks yeah i'm gonna try delete the app so now delete and boom oh guys go on. this is just cool right this is cool i'm excited and i believe you're going to learn a lot as we build this together so we just demonstrated the project we updated the profile we added the profile we deleted the profile uh this is the demo of the project it's super responsive super responsive Do in css it's it's just dope Do in css is amazing i love doing css so the project is super responsive from desktop to tablet to mobile. It's super responsive, responsive to the core, responsive to the core, right? This is the power of the Win CSS. So I love the Win CSS a lot. And then um, we get that super amazing responsiveness. And then what else? I guess that is it. 
right i believe you can't wait to join me build this out so we're going to be building everything the front end we're going to build with throw in css the back end we're going to build yeah the front end with throw in css and html react next js 13 the back end will be with node.js express mongoose and mongo database i'm going to show you guys how to build and deploy everything this project is for all category of developers whether you are a junior whether you are intermediate or whether you are senior, I bet there is certainly something you're going to learn. All right, then um, this is not a common YouTube tutorial. Yeah, this is not a common YouTube tutorial. This tutorial is actually part of content for my uh, full stack and blockchain development course, right? I currently have a course I'm running. So this project is basically private premium content. It's supposed to be content for my mentees, but I decided to use a model where I'll be mentoring them and also building my YouTube channel. So it's a huge, rare privilege. You're basically getting free content, premium content for free. So take advantage of all of it, enjoy yourself, and then make the best of the tutorial. Uh, there'll, be, there'll be a link to the GitHub repo in the video description. So look out for the link to the GitHub repo. You're going to find it in the, in the uh description of the youtube video so you can get access to the repo and then you get to see how uh, you get to see the code you get to have it so that you can reference make reference to it whenever you need help all right so i guess the next thing to do right now is for us to get down to work i believe you can do it i can't do it either so guys let's get to work